All right, guys, what's up? Gary, T-shirt help desk here. And today I got something really great for you. I kind of did a little stuff with this subject before, but today I am going to get in depth. Not only, not only am I going to get in depth, I'm gonna show you exactly where you can get this stuff to really take your business to another level, a whole nother level. All right. Uh, two people recently hit me up and they were saying that, uh, hey, G, one person was just like, hey, you know, where can I get uh, blank T-shirts with no labels in them? I want to put labels in them. And another person was like, I need labels for my T-shirt line. You know, I need to put in some, some labels with my name. All right. So today's episode is going to be about labels and I'm going to go in depth and show you exactly where you can get those labels. And I'm gonna uh, explain a couple of things to you guys, okay? So, let's go. All right, so I wanna show you guys some t-shirts and some labels, okay? And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make this happen, all right? So this is a, this is a really cool t-shirt. I may have showed you this before and this one has a label inside of the neck I don't know if you guys can see that that's like a grow grain label all right is there another label on this bad boy no uh, this is the t-shirt I stay fresh I think I showed you guys about this one before. I put the tag on it. And this one I got from Spreadshirt. And Spreadshirt, they have their own little, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a really cool thing. They have their own label, which is all like a sleeve label. They also have their, you know, neck label. All right. This is a really cool shirt. I have two. It have a, has a really cool geometric pattern. It also has a, a neck label. All right, and it also has, all right, a hem label. That's the front. And right here at the bottom, you can see Put a label sneak tip right at the uh, right at the bottom here. All right, and this one right here is something that we've all seen. I've showed you several times. This is just your basic T-shirt, and they have the Hanes, and this is a transfer label. All right, I'm going to show you how you can do some of that good stuff too. All right, and where do you get all this stuff from? I'm going to show you guys that you can have these things custom made for you. I'm going to show you a couple of things here. All right. Now I'm going to show you some really cool stuff too. All right. This right here, I'm going to show you something that you can get made. And if you're into manufacturing, you're getting stuff done. This right here is a custom tear away label so if you wanted your label to be torn away like one of these bad boys that I have like these Delta ones you can have that made and for those of you who don't know you can take these and you just you just tear it out you know it's it's made to be torn right on out all right, you go to this company, you send them to your artwork, boom, it's done. Now, this one right here, all right, I told you about you could do the screen printed kind, which is, or the heat transfer kind. You can also, or, or the, um, yeah, the heat transfer kind, but you can also have them done and made specifically for you. Let me just show you this. 
uh, and it's probably going to be uh, reverse, you know. And also, you can have different colors, and you can have the size put right there. And this, all right, if you get yours, will look just like this. And the great thing about it is, you take it, and it's really cool if you use. Um, uh, a neck, uh, no, 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 a hat press. You can get a hat press for like 150 bucks, 99 bucks. And you just put it right there, right? Stamp it with the heat press and boom, you've got it. And you can get these and they, they, they're not that expensive. This is great, you can get a one color, you can get colors. And you'll have something just like this and boom, you can, you can put them on and you really take your stuff to the next level with that stuff, all right? Uh, inside of the back neck. All right, inside of the back neck, these are thermal printed labels. All right, and you can have these done, guys. You can make these to put inside of your. This is just like when you when you see the labels, like this, like the sneak tip labels. For those of you, if you want to actually put a label. You can get these bad boys made, you know, or you can, you can get a woven label. Let me show you the woven labels. You can get colors. These are a little bit more expensive, but uh, any color, any style, any color. that you want like you know you see this one right here Mirala Couture okay I, they sent me samples this is very similar to that is very similar to this sneak tip one you just get these bad boys made all right and what this does guys is this takes your line to another level this is another um, finish got that from my brother Isaac Legend from Ishi Ishiyama. It's another finish that just puts you over the edge, and you start to look like the guys that are in stores. So, and I, I detail all this stuff in my book. You know what I'm saying? The uh, what's something called perceived value? When people see these really nice labels, and they see stuff. You know, this nice stuff in the, uh, right here, and these nice woven labels, and and your personalized colors and artwork in the back neck, it, it takes you to a whole nother level. They don't just see Hanes or American Apparel or whatever. It's like you are legitimate. And in people's minds and in people's psyche, it's like, wow. These guys are serious. You know I love that word serious. These guys are serious. These guys are the real deal, all right? Um, also, let me show you, you can get some stuff, and this is for, you know, some of the, you know, there's a lot of ladies here. You can get something like this, whereas this right here, you know, if you guys can see that, that is gold, sometimes it's called Lorex, that is gold thread right there. It just takes the stuff to a whole nother level. Like I said, for the back neck, you can get the, the, the woven kind, or you can get these uh, thermal printed kind, all right? Take this, you fold it, you can put your care information on the back. Take this, fold it, put it in the back neck, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I told you this, this video is gonna be awesome, guys. Now this right here is something that they do also. Now, I showed you guys one way to do hang tags, which is an economical way. But if you guys are gonna spend a few more bucks, you can get some of these bad boys, okay? And these are custom and die cut hang tags. All right, let me, just, let me just show you some of this. This is a die cut hang tag. It looks just like a handbag. That's something for the ladies. Uh, you know, you can get this bad boy, something like this. 
they, you know, they have the the little twine and the uh, um, safety pin. You can get something that looks like a t-shirt. All your artwork right here, your brand name. Something like this, which is wood with a little ribbon. Something like this. This one is like a canvas. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, you get the sky is the limit when it comes to this kind of stuff. All right, so you can get custom die cut. Like I said, if your thing is a shape, these, these you know, they may be a little bit more pricey, but when people see this stuff, this, my friends, will give your line something called perceived value, all right? Now this right here, I wanna show you a couple things. This is a really, really special thing. I'm gonna show you this in a second, how you can put these on and really take your things to the next level. All right, now this right here, I'm gonna show you this one is also some more of these great labels that you can, you can do and you can fold. And I'm gonna show you I mean, like, look at that. That's like a little bicycle. If you have a, whatever your logo or icon is, and then right on the back, check this out. You know, that's this is called Red Bike Brand. And right on the back, you see, I don't know if I'm going to focus in. I don't know if you can even see that, but that's Red Bike Brand right there, right on the back. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. I want to show you how you can put these on. All right. Now, there's one way you can do it that is that will last. You know, it may eventually come off. It depends. And there's another way that you can do these. All right. Once you buy them and you put them on, and it will stay forever. Okay. Once you buy these and you get these. All right, you can put them on a couple of ways. You can go to a manufacturer and you can send them and have your stuff custom made. And the manufacturer, you just send them these and they'll put it on when they make your t-shirts. Um, in that case, there's high, high minimums. It's gonna cost you a lot of money and they're gonna charge you to put these on. Or if you're doing a smaller lots and you're just coming out, I'm gonna show you how you can put these bad boys on yourself, all right? Now, if you have one already, you can just use the one you have, but I know some of you don't. It's called a, a sewing machine. You're gonna have to sew these on. Either the manufacturer's gonna sew it, or you can sew it, okay? Sewing machines can be very expensive, and you're not really making pants or suits. You're just putting on labels, all right? So, I have something here for you bad boys. Check this out. Now look at how, look at how I mean, this bad boy literally fits. I mean, you could say, I mean, in the palm, I mean, I got pretty big hands, but this bad boy fits in the palm of my hand, all right? This, my friends, is the label baby, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now, you can use a regular, um, sewing machine or you can just buy one online you know but or if you just want to sew these bad boys on I'm going to show you how you can put these bad boys on with this little bad boy that's really inexpensive and uh, you can make money and I'm going to tell you exactly where you can get all of these labels and I'm going to show you another way that may be even uh, more simple but it may not last forever like this will so hey come on let's go What's up, what's up guys? I am here, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a label to your t-shirts, okay? Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this and I'm gonna show you one particular way. Now, it's gonna take something. You're gonna need a sewing machine to really put it on there in a, on, in a permanent way, all right? Now, 
you, your mom may have one, your mom may, or your dad, you know, your dad may sew, you may have one around the house. There may be one up in the attic, one in the garage, one in the closet somewhere. You need to just get that bad boy out, dust it off, and get busy. If not, if not, have I got something for you guys. It's right here, the label baby. Okay, they're gonna be available at the link below. Um, if you're interested, make sure that you sign up in that list and you'll be the first to receive it when they come in. And that's pretty much it. So you need a sewing machine. Of course, you need a t-shirt. This one right here, we got a little black t-shirt and we have a label, okay? And here we go, let's do this. All right, so here is your label, baby. And this bad boy comes just like, you know, the traditional sewing machine. It has a presser foot. You put this on the ground so you can get busily. And you're gonna want to figure out where you're gonna put. This is our, this is our t-shirt here. And you're gonna wanna figure out where you're gonna put your label. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the label and sometimes some people like to put them on the sleeve you may put it right here on, on the sleeve I don't know if you guys can kind of see what that is gonna, gonna look like it's gonna be hot fire on the sleeve can you see that Or you may want to put it, I mean, you put it wherever the hell you want to. It's, it's up to you. You may think of something dope and new that's going to really set your line apart. This one right here, this is the hem. A lot of times people put it right here at the hem. So it'll look like that. All right. Really set your stuff apart. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the hem. You can put it wherever you want to. And when you get, when you're doing something like this, make sure, I don't know if you can see this, make sure that you can get any size you want. This is just the size that I am using. Make sure that the edges are, if you can see this, make sure that the edges are folded in. All right, you want those edges to be folded in because if you just sew it right on the edge with this kind of label, you can get the kind of labels that don't fray, but this right here is gonna fray and unravel on the person and it's gonna come off. So you wanna make sure that the edges like that are folded in. And you can see the back of this has some information on, on the back. You can put whatever you like and we are going to get busy okay so what you're going to want to do is this is just like any other right here this this right here raises and lowers the presser foot okay and the presser foot is what holds down the fabric or the t-shirt in this all right this right here this bad boy has a bobbin you might see some cheap crap on eBay or whatever, but it's not gonna have that bobbin. If it doesn't have the bobbin, it's a piece of crap. If you know anything about sewing, you know about a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, you do not have a sewing machine, okay? Okay, so when you're, what you wanna do is take this and put it on your t-shirt beforehand, right? You wanna kind of figure out where you want this to be. Let me put this whole t-shirt. You want to kind of figure out where you want this to be on the shirt. So I'm just going to come over here. I guess we're going to come about three or four, maybe eh, four and a half inches. And you want to place it just like how you want it. Okay. So you're like. So you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, baby, that's the ticket. Now, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do 
is just to secure it in place. I like to take, you can get a push pin. If you know anything about needles, you can get like a push pin or a needle or something. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a pin in this to hold it in place so that when I'm sewing, it doesn't slip out of place. This time I'm going to do it from the back just to make sure that, you know, these both sides are lined up. Take my needle, stick it through, and back. Okay, perfect. So now that bad boy is right. You can see it. I took the pin, I put it right where we want it. Okay, now it's time to get some sewing. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this bad boy underneath. First of all, this raises the pressure foot just like any other sewing machine. And something else you're going to see right here is this bad boy has a little compartment for the bobbin. You may go on eBay or some of that other foolishness and you'll see some stuff. And th those things don't have a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, you don't have a locking stitch. And if you don't have a locking stitch, you don't have a sewing machine. Okay, it's not gonna stay, all right? It's gonna unravel. You think you have a good stitch, it's gonna unravel. And you're gonna have garbage, it's gonna fall right off. So this is a real sewing machine, guys. This is not BS, this is a real sewing machine. So get that bad boy right there. Push the, that to the back, raise your pressure, pressure foot. Put it in. All right. And right here, actually, we're going to turn this to the side because the sewing machine goes this way. But we have that one stitch in, all right? And the stitching goes this way. So, I mean, it's pretty much easy. It's almost like, I mean, to be honest with you, you could, I mean, it's coming back up now. You could just turn it and do it. But I'm going to step on my trusty little foot pad and uh, we're gonna make sure that presser foot is down and uh, here we go all right and I mean we're pretty much almost done but what I'm gonna do is in order to like really get this nice, I'm going to make sure this down in there. I'm gonna lift up the pressure foot while the needle is still down in there. And I'm just gonna turn, just gonna turn this around. And really, you could just use this and turn it. You don't even have to press the thing and just get a couple more stitches in there and you're good. And that's pretty much it. Or you can go hit that right away. all the way back across. And there we go. We are done. I'll raise up that. Raise up the press, uh, uh, presser foot. Make sure that the needle is all the way out. Pull it out. Just take a little, you're gonna have a couple of little extra um, uh, little extra little pieces of uh, thread. Cut those bad boys off. Make sure you use sharp scissors. These aren't the sharpest. And hold on. Get the inside too. Make sure you get the inside. 
And ladies and gentlemen, check that out. Okay, look at how beautiful that is. And you did that yourself in like a couple of seconds. You literally could have not even pressed the presser foot and just like spent this bad boy. And you could do that bad boy with any sewing machine, any sewing machine, grandma's sewing machine, mom's sewing machine, your cousin's sewing machine, or for a couple bucks, Label Baby. Uh, it's called Label Baby because it is a baby sewing machine. So anyway, guys, uh, you use the same process to do all of your labels, and that's it. I will talk to you all soon. Guy from the T-Shirt Help Desk, and... Uh, Back to me in the office. Peace. All right, guys. So there you see it. You can do it. You can make it happen. All right. You can use a label, baby. The link is going to be below. If you're interested in it, definitely go there and check that out. Uh, get on the list. It's not out yet, but you can get on that list to be the first one to get one. And um, if you want any of these labels, all right, you're going to have to go to a place but in order to be treated the way you're supposed to be treated you gotta tell them i sent you you gotta use the code t-shirt help desk all right and you're gonna go to can you see that it's not focusing in but clothing labels i'm gonna i'm gonna put it down here clothing labels for you all right clothing labels for you and you go and you talk with them all right you talk with them and you figure out what you want to do and they'll send you some samples and you can get everything done and they will work with you and your t-shirt thing will be hot all right and you get that bad boy iron it on sew it on and it'll be there forever you will have a higher quality people will see you as being higher quality get things done but go to clothing labels for you okay clothing labels for you all right and make it happen all right this is gary from the t-shirt help desk i wish you guys nothing but love peace and happiness and mwah! cheers to your t-shirt you asked the questions now here's the answer the t-shirt help desk.com is proud to present start a t-shirt business or die trying the ultimate guide to living your dreams and quitting your lousy ass job our awesome new ebook it's a guidebook and source book for starting a t-shirt business this book also breaks down the history of the workday and week, the problem with the current job system, and how you'll never get rich working a job. The book not only outlines how to start a t-shirt business, but it gives you all the sources to everything you're going to need to get your business off the ground. Need someone to do your custom heat transfers? It's in here. Need an affordable to dirt cheap graphic designer? It's in here. Need to know where to incorporate and get your LLC? It's in here need to know where to get promotional items like wristbands, buttons, and stickers? It's in here. Need to know where to get custom poly mailers and boxes? It's in here. Want to know where to get free hot models for your photo shoots? It's in here. Want to know how to get your e-commerce site up and running? It's in here. Learn how to design, print, and sell t-shirts. Social media. How to market your t-shirt company. How to sell your t-shirt to stores how to get celebrities to wear your t-shirts, intellectual property, copyright, and trademarks, the use of celebrity likenesses, the use of fonts, stock photos, and clip art and where to get them, and the list goes on and on. This book has got it all covered. It's in here. It was written by Gary from the t-shirt helpdesk.com so you know it has to be good. The t-shirt industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. Why shouldn't you get your cut of some of that money? So what are you waiting for? Pick up a copy today and work toward kissing that lousy ass job goodbye. It's not just an ebook, it's a one-way ticket to your dreams. It's in here.